Hi, this is a presentation on learning statements, which you will be using in your portfolio. Now, just as a, a word of caution, your portfolio isn't due until the end of the semester, but we do want to get you working on it so that it's not all um, kind of inundating you at the end of the semester. And so this presentation is about the learning statement piece. Each of your papers, um, the descriptive, the narrative, the how-to paper, and the persuasive paper will be included in your portfolio. Along with each of those papers, plus your diagnostic, you will need to include what's called a learning statement. And that's what this presentation is all about. Um, and so please follow closely and, and take any notes as needed so that you're prepared to write these learning statements for your portfolio. First of all, in terms of requirements, uh, the learning statements are three paragraphs minimum in length. They are also uh, a minimum of one page. The purpose is that it shows a reflection on the writing, the writing process, and also what has been learned. So you have kind of three tasks um, that you need to accomplish. They do need to be typed in 12 point times New Roman or in 11 point Arial, whichever you are more comfortable using, and they are also double spaced. When it comes to the question of what do you write about, um, there are a couple of sections. And if we go section by section, I think that makes it a little bit easier. Um, for example, in section one, that's basically your introduction. And what that introduction will do is it will connect to your theme, which we will talk about next week. Um, and so for now, you can kind of skip this paragraph. Section two, though, uh, is probably your longest section. It's generally one to two paragraphs. And what it is is it's a reflection on the writing process that was used for the paper. And so whatever you think about in terms of your paper, you can talk about what went well, what didn't go well. Um, there are some things listed here. I talked about um, coming up with the idea. That's very first part of the writing process, that pre-writing, brainstorming, part of the process. You could talk about problems or successes that you had while drafting. Maybe you had way too much material for your essay. Maybe you didn't have enough. Um, maybe you got stuck in the middle and had to go back and, and rewrite possibly. Um, maybe you didn't have a title. Maybe it was your intro or your conclusion that was causing you trouble. Um, but while drafting, what kind of issues or successes did you have? Um, the third bullet there talks about problems or successes that you had while revising. Maybe there was nothing to revise for your paper. Maybe you thought you had a perfect first draft. Um, maybe it was that you really had trouble, you know, looking at those weak verbs. Maybe that was um, a trouble spot for you in terms of revising. You could also reflect on what you learned during peer revision. Uh, you could talk about things that you would change if given the opportunity to rewrite this paper yet again. Um, the sky's the limit in terms of this part of the um, the learning statement. Don't let these suggestions kind of stop you. Um, as long as you're writing about the process that you went through to write this paper, it probably will hit um, the requirements. You will see an additional um, handout that I will put um, a bunch of questions that you can answer. You could take any one of those questions on that handout and make its own paragraph and you would have um, plenty of information for your learning statement. Whatever you do choose to talk about, make sure that you are specific. Um, and so, you know, don't just say that this paper was really hard to write. Instead, talk about the specifics that made it difficult to write. Maybe it was the intro, maybe it was the conclusion, maybe it was the body paragraph, maybe it was that you didn't have a great topic to begin with. But whatever the case, be specific. If that means, you know, you had a really great sentence in the middle of your paper, pull that sentence out, write about it, tell me why it was um, such a great sentence, why you enjoyed about it, what you really worked hard on to make it so great, um, that kind of thing. So be specific when you can. So those are sections one and two. Section three provides kind of an application piece. And this is where I really want you to think about the content that you went through while composing this essay. Um, and if you go back and visit the weeks and the content, you'll see what it was that you were supposed to have learned during each of the particular essays. And that changes for every essay. Um, but this is where I want you to say, okay, here's what I learned this paper that I didn't know before or I didn't know much about before. Here's what I know now. And here's how I will continue to use this strategy to communicate effectively no matter where I am in the future. So you're looking at, okay, maybe in the um, descriptive essay you learned how to be specific. 
and you just might be going to become a nurse. And so if you're going to be a nurse, specific language is going to be key when you have to write up your um, synopsis of what you did on your shift or how your patients are, are doing. And so that being specific concept could be something that becomes really important to your writing life in the future. Um, maybe when we get to the how-to paper, you learn how to write really good paragraphs. And so maybe as you continue on in your education, maybe you're going for your BA, um, maybe you're going to have to really write a lot of paragraphs and a lot of essays. And so that was something that you feel like you can continue to use in the future. So what I really want to learn know in this particular section is what did you learn and how am I going to use this in the future? And then the very last section is a sentence or two um, that kind of tells me, hey, here's my learning statement. Now I want you to read my essay. So kind of get us from the learning statement into here, take a look at my essay and, and see what's there. That's essentially what a learning statement is. Um, I look forward to reading your learning statements to see how your papers have progressed and what you have learned.